when I first looked at this tree, I had this center lead as the one I thought was the best tie-in for the climber, but I knew that there was a possibility it was rotten. I just had no idea how rotten it was actually going to be. So I told Keaton, hey, you know, you should check that out, see how bad it is. If you stick your spurs in it and it doesn't feel wood anymore, it feels like a marshmallow or something, or it vibrates too much or moves too much, then you can't climb on it and you'll just have to straight spur the whole tree. And so that was what he ended up doing, but I thought he did an admirable job considering his experience level. And we flew through this. The climbing part of the job was done in like an hour and a half. So here's a couple cuts of the climbing action and then we'll do the takedown. We thought we had something to worry about with this little dog leg we cut off there, but it was so rotten. In the past, those branches that stick out towards the ground when you cut a tree down have been known to damage concrete and asphalt or leave giant holes in the yard. So we had to take the precaution, even though obviously in this case it wasn't necessary. I've had this vise on the back of my truck for like probably two years now. It's really helpful for keeping my saws sharp on site. It's very common when we have dull chainsaws for us to go back to the property with, you know, four dull chainsaws in some cases, depending if there's metal in the tree or whatnot. And when it's inconvenient and awkward to file a saw, it makes it even less likely anyone's going to do it. Uh, I'm not the kind of tree guy that likes to just buy another chain even though the company really makes enough money that it doesn't make sense to sharpen monetarily, but it does make sense to me because partly it's just wasteful when you're throwing away chains that have a ton of life left in them. To me, that's bad for the environment in a way that even though I'm not one of these green energy people, I still think you shouldn't use something and then just throw it away when it has, still has life left in it. To me, that's a far worse crime against the environment than just not using a vehicle that runs on fossil fuels. Uh, so we like to make our chains last. We use them until the bitter end. I've got chains on saws. We've been running all year consistently, constantly, eight months worth of running. And honestly, I can't remember changing out the chains more than twice on any saw for the entire year because we actually sharpen the saws. We take care of them, we keep them sharp. We get like four sharpens out of a saw if it's been taken care of. If somebody hits a rock, we'll get like three sharpens out of it or metal, same thing. But this Husky was sitting in the truck for a long time and we weren't using it because it was dull and we had to upgrade our saws. We had to buy multiple steel saws this year. So I was just using those and kind of enjoying that new saw feeling. Um, but I wanted to get this thing tuned up today and get a little cutting action in with it because it is one of my favorite saws to run even though the service with Husqvarna is terrible. You should take care of your stuff because the way you take care of your chainsaws is probably the way you take care of everything else in your life. They're all just thrown ba back in the back of the truck. Nobody ever takes care of them. Like I understand putting it away dirty. I get that. But not filing it, not cleaning the air filter, not replacing parts that are broken and then just running it into the ground and throwing it away and getting another one. I don't get that. The way I see it is these things are here for the long haul and I treat them that way and I prefer my equipment to act like it's there for the long haul 
and it's not going to act like that to me if I don't treat it like it is. So anyway, that's enough jaw jacking about chainsaws. I love how this thing cuts. Boy, there's nothing like that Husqvarna X cut chain. Well, anyway, guys, thanks for watching the video. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Have a great day.